Hello, hey, it's your girl Pamela Yvette. I am here. This is um the day after my appointment. This is the first um I'll say today is day one really with having a, the walking boot on all day. And I want to tell y'all something. Last night I thought it was gonna be a little bit easier for me to kind of stand up and um, do my shower and everything, but it wasn't. It's just really painful to try to stand up. I know I haven't stood on my leg in a while, and it's painful. So, I just kind of want to come on really quick and show you guys, like, and really just tell you that it's been mm, painful. I've been having pain all day. Uh, as I worked today, I got up, walked around a little bit, just trying to make sure I, I stay active with it. And I think maybe my pain is coming from all the swelling. My my foot and my ankle is still pretty swollen. And that may have something to do with why um, I'm in so much pain. Because it's just like throbbing. In a minute, because I just got off of work. So in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and soak my foot in some Epsom salt. And hope and pray that that um, helps reduce some of the swelling. And take away a lot of the pain so I can rest. Because last night I had a wrap on. Um, I kept my leg wrapped up. I put a sock on, and then after I put um, put the sock on, I did the little Velcro, the the wrap thingy. And um, yeah, I didn't really get a lot of sleep last night, y'all. I will say that I didn't sleep well. I was making sure that my foot stayed on my cushion that I sleep in in the bed, and it just wasn't what I expected, y'all. I was so excited about getting my boot, and I'm like, oh, I got my walking boot, but. It hurts so bad to walk so I don't know if it's just me everybody's body is different um but again I just want to let y'all know you got to be positive you got to keep a um a strong mindset even though I was struggling I was like saying goodbye singing all these songs to my scooter and I'm like mm -mm, you ain't going nowhere baby come back that's what I was saying <laughs> come on back cuz I need you I need crutches in this but um in order for me to kind of jet off into the kitchen because again i have like 15 minute two 15 minute breaks and then have my lunch so in order for me to get to the kitchen get what i need to get i use my scooter my knee scooter to go ahead and go and get what i i need to get out of the kitchen and then if i need to use the restroom if i need to do something like move around pretty quick i'll jump on my scooter but if not if i'm just trying to walk around i, I grab my crutches so i just want to show you guys how it is, how it looks so far with me trying to walk with these, um, with this walking boot. I know it's going to get better, so I'm not even, ah, I stop it. Ah. Calm down. Get down, big boy. Okay, okay, back up. But anyway, y'all, I know it's going to get better. Kai, what are you doing? What do you want? I don't have anything. I know it's going to get better. Look at him. I don't have anything on my hand. What are you smelling? <laughs> he going crazy because we cooking. <laughs> I had to put some salmon in the um in the little cooker thing, so. <laughs> I go crazy over that. But anyway, I'm going to get up in a minute, y'all. And I'm just going to show y'all what it looks like. The struggle. It is painful, but I'm going to keep pushing through, okay? So, I'm going to pass it and let my son kind of, oh, Lord, capture. <laughs> He's so goofy. He on the scooter, y'all. <laughs> Me forever. Ugh. I don't think I'll be able to then. Mm-hmm. All right. So um
Y'all, it is hard as hell to try to um to do this. It's the um heel to toe type situation. So that means I gotta put come move this um water out the way for me. Kind of slide it back over that way a little bit. And I know they said, uh, -uh back over this way here, yeah, up closer to me. And is it real, real hot? Mm -hmm. I think they opened the lid or something. Okay, all right, y'all. So, um, with me, I'm gonna I'm soak my foot in some Epsom salt in a minute. But I just kind of want to give you guys a snippet of how I make sure my baby's not behind me. And Kai always gets in the way when I'm doing something. So just be mindful. I'm just going to back up and give you guys an idea. I want to make sure I ain't going to back up and fall on anything. Y'all, I had two near misses yesterday. I ain't going to say no near misses. I did stumble over. For some reason, I cannot keep my balance straight. I don't know. Um, and that's probably why I have to do physical therapy. But it is so painful. I just try to step down like so. And, you know, I put a little bit of pressure on it. The reason why I, I don't put all my weight down on it is when I feel all the pain going into my ankle, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I got to get up off of it. I got to get up off of it. So with that, I'm just trying to do what I can. Mainly, I'm not trying to put too much weight on it, but I am kind of moving just a little bit, okay? So, I don't know if, excuse me, I make all these grunts and noises, but I know it's going to take a little while for me to um be able to really have range of motion of my of my foot and I don't, I don't know if it's the swelling that's causing me to kind of have all this pain but it is like hell I mean as you can see I'm just trying to step up just walking around in the house it is I'm trying to walk as much as possible they advise me to keep my heel my foot pushed back as, as far back as I can to this and that's what I've been doing now this is not an easy journey, y'all. I know, I do. I hope I'm not making it look easy. I wish it was a way I can describe my pain, but I know that it's going to get better. I think the more that I do it, it's going to get better. Eventually, I'll be able to put all my weight down on this foot and just try to go into it, okay? So, yeah. Let me make my round back around the corner, y'all. So, give me one second. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Oh, sh let me shut up, because then I know me, I start fall, I will fall backwards. And I'm standing up, and I'm telling my brain to go forward, but my body will lean back. <laughs> okay, so y'all, again, I'm just trying to put weight on there. Okay, so if y'all see me, hey, I'm making them step, step. Let me stop. Ugh. But I feel that pain like no other pain, y'all. But no pain, no gain. You know what I'm saying? So this is me. Really the full day one with me wearing this boot. Have it been easy? Nope. Have I been in pain? I've been in pain all day. I woke up this morning. I was in pain. But guess what? I didn't take no pain till you. Hey, hey. Hey, because I don't want to run from what my body is supposed to be doing. I know I'm going to be in pain. I thought I was going to be, to be honest, I thought I, as soon as I got this boot, I was like, hey, now walk it out. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Then when I thought I was going to be walking it out, where's I walk it out? No, ain't no where's I walking nothing out. Nothing. You're going to be making all these grunts and noises when I'm walking because I, I want to walk, but it's the it's just something that comes it's mainly my heel. It feels like my heel heats up and my ankle and then my toes start feeling. I don't know what it's a sensation that comes all over it. So I don't know. Now they told me, Kaka, please be good, big boy. Hey, Pooh. You open the lid. 
Excuse me. Did you open the lid on it? Okay, check it out. Make sure it ain't overcooked. But anyway, the, um, my doctor told me, y'all, to keep, um, to make sure, you know, I try to elevate it as much as I can. It's not a big deal because, like he said, at this point, he know he can't expect me to just be with my leg up all the time because I still have to have uh, uh, my life. But what they, he does recommend is, you know, just take it easy. Um, if I feel too much pain, if I feel like I'm doing too much, I just stop it. Um, if I feel like I need to take a break, take a break. It's okay. I'm not going to rush back into walking right now. I know that. So I think once I wrap my brain around it and really truly understand that this is how it's going to be, um, the better off I am. Okay. So I just want to come and give you guys a demonstration of, um, you know, this is what it looks like. Me kind of holding everything in and you know, it takes a lot of strength. My arms are so sore. I feel back sore again, all up under here, but it's okay. Um, just when you're thinking you're going to be without, um, your little assistance thing or whatever, then you have to use them again. Then you realize that, you know what, God, thank you that I have these things. Cause if I didn't have a school, if I didn't have crutches, I would have failed so many times today, but thank God I didn't. Okay. So I want to come, I just want to come on and show you guys, give you guys a demonstration of, ooh, it's easy for me to back up. That's why I kind of lift, where's Kai? I lift my leg up and just kind of do my thing. But as far as me um, walking on it, I'm just trying to stay heel to toe. And if y'all notice, I don't put all my weight on it. I kind of drag my foot over just a little bit because I don't want the entire poundage to be on this thing now another cool thing that i can say is this is this blue thing i can put a lot of air in here and it kind of like makes it more cushiony on the inside and then when i feel like i've done like it's it gets really really tight when i'm pressing this blue ball and then it kind of makes my foot feel like real snuggly my ankle and everything and then i just use this to relieve the pressure i do that before i take the boot off so, again, I'm about to soak my foot in some Epsom salt in a minute. I hope that's the right thing to do. They didn't tell me not to do it, but because, you know, I came from, like, old school family where they do these little remedies. So, I, I did some research, too, just looking online today, and I saw that Epsom salt would help me out a little bit. So, that's what I want to do. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to come on and um, give you guys a demonstration to show you how... It is trying to um, walk with this walking boot. Day one, I know every day going to get better, y'all. I'm not even tripping off of it. <clears throat> excuse me. I know I get short of breath every time I start. <coughs> excuse me. Bless me, y'all. Every time I um, start moving around, I get short. Like, I get windy. But it's okay, though. It's okay. I'm, I'm getting used to it. I just got to go through this. I got used to walking on or not using this leg at all. I got to get used to back to using my leg again, okay? So, anyway, um, it's a glare at the two more. Okay, down yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, guys, I am going to... You can to me. I'm going to go... I'm going to go... This man act like he's on her so bad, y'all. My leg was stuck in the cushion. I found this in there. Yeah, I'm gonna miss my son when he leave out Sunday. So, I'm I'm excited. I'll probably be hollering crying next week. Cause that's how I was when he went to basic training. I was like crying. Then I took a picture of my face swollen cause I was crying the day after. And I sent a picture to him like he was like, oh, what happened to you? You got beat up. He's so sarcastic. I was like, nah, I was just crying. <laughs> you said something sarcastic, son. But anyway. Let me, let me hobble my behind back on over here like y'all and I don't even sit down like a regular person I just plop down because <laughs> I know I try to take the edge off but anyway y'all I got this jacket on because I was so cold that's another thing that I run into too um Pooh how does it look Yeah, open it up and look at it. 
But it's another thing too, y'all. I noticed that when I'm doing my um, I'm cold at first. When then when I start moving around the house, I get really, really, really hot. Like I'm warm now, and I want to take this jacket off. But I'm gonna take it off in a minute. Does it have white stuff coming out of it? What does it look like? Hmm. Probably should have put the other lid on it. In. Is it falling apart? I'll look at it in a minute. But anyway, y'all, I just want to um show y'all this process. Y'all, I it's so much stuff that I want to do. I want to cross my leg, like just have it hanging out like this. But guess what? The damn pain. I just noticed that too. It's like, I don't know. But I couldn't find uh, uh my son went to the store for me trying to see if he could find me a little foot thingy. And he couldn't find me one, so he just got this little bucket thing. And I'm just going to put only my right foot in it. And I'm going to soak my foot real quick. So, there's a little water. And some Epsom salt. So, I'm going to soak my foot just for a few. And I hope, like I said, I am hope I'm not wrong for doing this. But I just want to want to take a lot of the pressure off and, and take the load off of what's been going on with my foot. So, um, oh, and before I do this, y'all, I want to show y'all... Wait, give me a second. I don't know if I'll be able to do it right now. But I'm going to take these straps off. Just a bunch of them. Wait, I got to figure out where the strap strap is. Let me let the air out. Hold on one second, y'all. Let me just take the straps off real quick. All right, so I'm gonna take all this off. So I'm just gonna ease my foot out of here. Ah, y'all, it's so much skin that be in this thing. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all probably can't even see it, but it's so much skin. Like my skin keeps flaking. Even when I took my my uh, shower and everything last night, I still had um all the flaking and stuff. But anyway, this is how my foot looks. Y'all, some of this, this tape stuff didn't even come off of there. And I couldn't get it off of there real good. Let me see if I can get another view, side view of my foot. Uh, so this is how it looks, y'all. I told y'all I had it um, cut on the right side and on the inside right here. Let me see if I can put it up so you can see it. So right here is where I got cut at on the inside, inner side of my um ankle. And my leg is so dry. If you can see it, it's like an indention, a line right there. And then I'm going to go on the other side. Hopefully you guys can see. Same thing with this one. look kind of weird and then my leg my foot is so freaking swollen like there's i don't know if you can see all that but it's so swollen my toes everything's so swollen but yeah y'all i've been had this thing on pedicure so i got this gel polish put on my toes like back in september when did september puka we went to um but right before you ended up going to the um homecoming, right? Cause homecoming was October the first, wasn't it? Second? Yeah. But my baby and I, we went the end of September. We we tried a new spot, y'all, to get our feet um we wanted to do well she didn't want to get her feet done, but I wanted to get a pedicure and my nails and stuff done. And we just tried a new 
um, nail shop that's not too far from the house. And they did, they really did a good job. And that's what made me feel like, I said, shoot, um, this man did a, a, a darn good job because I had this, I've had this polish on my toes ever since September. And, you know, as usual, your nails and stuff start to grow out. But, hey, I'm good. That's the one thing that I can say. Yeah, I'm all right. Because if I got caught off guard with this, but at least my toes, I had just had my toes done just a little bit right after, um, well, right before I got hurt. So, that's one thing I can let everybody say. Well, hey, you know, at least... Because everybody at the doctor's office, everybody in the um, hospital, even the nurses right before my surgery, they were like, oh, cute toes, cute polish. And I was like, okay, thank you. So I was like, I told them, I said, y'all, I am so lucky. As a woman, that's the one thing that we really want to make sure that we're in, you know what I'm saying? We're on point with certain things, you know? Um, so I was like, shoot, if I, gotta, if I just got to show my feet, then might as well show them and just, you know whatever but y'all i stuck my foot in this water real quick right before i hope cow don't come over here bothering me and this is the only thing that we can find y'all so don't laugh at, at me but this is epsom salt and i'm just gonna soak my feet in there and that actually feels really really good um me just relaxing my foot just letting it stay down i can notice that it um i can feel the pain Probably because I hadn't rested my foot yet. But anyway, that's fine. That's fine, y'all. So I just wanted to come on and do a video and show you guys a demonstration of what the full day. I'll say this is truly day one because yesterday was like, um, it was a half a day because it was the afternoon. My appointment was at 2, a little bit after 2. So by the time we got home, it was like 5 something, almost 6 o'clock, I think. Yeah. So... Today was day one, full day of having this boot on and me experiencing it. Um, I would say that there's because of my swelling, it makes it uncomfortable. It's like all these lines and these indentions are in my leg after I take the boot off. Because I took it off a few times a day just to give my, my foot a break and my leg some air. At one point, I had a sock on. I took the sock off because I feel like the sock was cutting into my, um, my ankle um, only because of the swelling. And I pray to God that this swelling goes away and stays away, y'all. Y'all just pray for me for this swelling to go away. Um, I am getting some throbbing sensation for me. Um, yeah, I'm getting a throbbing, little throbbing sensation. It's kind of like a, you know, pulsing in my ankle. But it doesn't feel too unbearable. I mean, the water is nice. It's not really hot. Um, so... I'm thankful for that. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to do like I did again last night. Do my shower and then put Vaseline on my leg. And I noticed that until all this skin, um, the skin goes away, I'm probably going to be shedding for a while. So, that's probably going to be the thing, y'all. I'll be shedding like crazy. So, um, that's something I'm not even worried about. Ashy, that's one of the last things that I'm worried about now at this point. Because I just feel like... Um, I feel like everything is, you know, coming and it's going to fall into place, y'all. So, if you guys are having or experience any type of surgery, if you have been non-weight bearing for um, as long as I have or longer, just know that this too shall pass. When you first start back walking, like anything, you're going to experience some pain. I've read some reviews on, uh, I watched some videos, no, no. I watched some videos where there was a um, person that said that they didn't have any pain. They didn't experience any type of pain. And everybody, by, everybody's body is different. So that means you may experience pain. I may not. Or I may not. You may not. So we're all different. But as long as you keep your mindset positive and keep pushing and remember to stay the course, Cause what I look like just sitting down all day, what I look like not wanting to get up and walk and exercise. That means I'm telling my brain and telling myself that, Oh, Pam, you just going to be chilling on the couch always. Or Pam, you're going to always just ha have somebody, Hey, hand me that. Give me this. you bring me that. No, you like the, the um, thought of being able to get up and knowing that you are able to get up, you know? So 
it's a one day at a time process, y'all. Now, I am probably, because I did take a Tylenol last night before I went to bed. I did do that because I felt myself in pain. Because it kicked up, man. It kicked up a notch. I thought I did my little um shower and got clean and everything. I was like, whoa, pump up the volume, baby. So, I had to go ahead on and take that pill, take a Tylenol, and woosa. Even though I didn't sleep that good, it's all right. Um, because I was being very careful, very, very cautious. I want to make sure I'm watching out for my, my, you know, my leg and stuff. And every time I felt the throbbing, I would get up and say, okay, maybe laying my leg this way is not going to benefit me. What you guys do need to know is during this whole process, I have learned to sleep on my back. I'm not a back sleeper. Matter of fact, I'm not a stay in one spot type of sleeper. Uh, I'm the type of sleeper that will be, I'll start out at the head, I'm going to end up at the foot. I may end up clockwise, <laughs> go to bed clockwise, I'm going to count it clockwise all the way through. I, I don't know why, it's just that I've always been like that <laughs> my whole life. I just, I am a wild sleeper. My baby told me, she said, Mama, I feel so sorry for you because um, y'all know I've been laying on my, I had been laying on my back nonstop. When I tell you and the doctor said, elevate, do this, do that, I was doing all the above, going over and above to make sure that I was, um, you know, getting where I need to be. But I also had to learn, too, that, yeah, you can do all you got to do. You can do everything you need to do. It's just your body going to take its time to heal. It may be the food that you're eating that's got you swelling. It just, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just I just do have done everything I, to my knowledge that I can think of. Yeah, I can pretty much say that I can think of everything that I can think of. I've done it to try and make sure every instruction that the doctor has given me, I followed them. Every advice that I was um, receiving, I've, I've taken it and applied it. Um... Even looking at other things online, you know what I'm saying? I just want to make sure that I was getting the best of um of both worlds. You know, just trying to give everything a chance. That does feel good, y'all. So my foot, I'm just trying to move my foot around in the water a little bit just to see. So, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, y'all. I'm just kind of floating it around in this water. Hopefully this stuff, because again, I wasn't trying to pull on anything. I can feel a lot of, um, I don't know what this is over here, but it feels like, feel like somebody doing this. Pat, 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 pat. And y'all, I don't know if y'all can see this water, but immediately, this is how it was. Yesterday, and I was going and taking my rag over my leg and stuff when I was wiping it. It was just amazing how much skin just kept rubbing off i was like every, at least when i thought it was done it wasn't like i can take this and just rub it just rub 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 skin but again i'm not pulling this stuff because they told me don't pull it just let it do what it do Whew. i'm gonna have to put some ice on it probably tonight though because it's right here, it seems like there's a big bulge. And it's where this, um, whew, it's where the inside of this boot, is, there is some indentures on the inside of this boot. And so basically, that's what's following up and getting in my, um, getting in my leg. When my leg gets swollen, it goes straight up and it holds whatever the little, indention is it makes it look like a big bulge in my leg so that's fine that's fine y'all this too shall pass okay so um i'm gonna go ahead and go because i'm hungry i've gotten off of work and um we got some salmon cooking and we're gonna finish that up do everything in the kitchen so i can eat before it gets too late then I'm gonna be going upstairs, crawling up there, and get my night started so I can get my, you know, body clean and then just get my mentals together, y'all. That's what I've been doing too, putting on some nice meditating music and just listening to it and just reflecting on the day and just trying to make sure that I'm resetting, boop, boop, 
just resetting everything. Because if I just allow me saying, oh, I was in pain all day. If I go upstairs and just start reflecting, man, it don't make no sense how my leg was hurt. Man, my ankle just bothered me. Man, it hurt when I walk. If I just sit and just reflect on that, that's the BS. I don't want to reflect on that. That that doesn't serve me. Okay? So my mindset is if it doesn't serve me, I don't need to hold on to it. So I don't need to hold on to those thoughts. I don't need to reminisce on that. So that's why I reset my brain. <clears throat> Excuse me. I reset my brain and I just go ahead and put on some music and, and ride out on that meditation music or something that'll make me feel good. And since it's Christmas season, I've been um wilding out on my Christmas music. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and go, y'all, and finish cooking so we can eat but anyway i just will say this y'all let me cut this light off because every time i do it i try to put light on there because y'all know you know i'm a chocolate girl right but anyway i'll be trying to make sure that i have light as much light as i can but sometimes there's a glare in it and i don't want to come off as being too dark or whatever because yeah and another thing, too, is because I really don't have everything readily available, like my, my light and all that stuff. I just try to do what I can, y'all, because I want to come on and make sure that I'm keeping you guys updated, giving you the information, because somebody needs to see what I'm going through. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? When I was first hurt myself, I needed to see somebody's video. So I'm doing this to help somebody else, also to help myself, because, again, it's been a dang on journey. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I'm getting stopped up, like I have my allergies or something itching my ears and my throat. I can just feel it get itchy again. All right, y'all, for real this time, I'm going to go. Because y'all know me, I keep 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 on talking, okay? So, I want to first of all thank everybody for tuning in, watching these videos, and um, joining the world, the crazy world of Pamela Yvette. I will be back to give you guys more updates and, and hopefully, hopefully I will be walking less pain. Every day I want to be pain free. That's what I told God. I asked him just let me be pain free every single day when I'm trying to walk. Lessen and lessen and lessen the pain until it goes away. That's my prayer, okay? All right. So I want you guys to give me a thumbs up, like this video. You can share with anybody who's suffering with an ankle injury, broken bone, whatever. I, I mean, I, I feel like I'm, um, I can speak to this, this injury. I can tell y'all my experience. I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself. Okay. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Please do so. Add a comment. You know, I will reply back to you. I thank you guys for showing me so much love and all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm going to continue to do my little bootleg soaking, and then we're going to eat, okay? All right, so hopefully I will see you guys on my next video. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, okay? All righty, bye-bye.